How you doing YouTube? Sneakertube.tv, this is Space SpaceSX and I'm back with my latest pickup and this is the pickup I've been waiting for uh, for a very long time. The Air Jordan Playoff 13s. Picked these up today from my spot and man I'm so happy to have these. Uh, when they announced that these were getting retroed a while back, um, I was anticipating them uh, since I heard the news. Because uh, these have not been released since 1997 or 1998, excuse me. And I'm really impressed with the shoe. Uh, you have your tumble leather with the uh, accents on there that's on all the 13s. You have your suede on your mudguard and on your midsole you got a mix of suede and white rubber on the sole on the midsole. As you can see uh, the tumbled leather is pretty good quality. You got the uh, suede tongue with the red jump man of course uh, with the yellow vibrant yellow accent circle around it which along with the yellow Jordan on the bottom of the tongue on the forefront of, of the shoe uh, which of course really sets it off um, I mean it's a beautiful shoe we all know about it the combination of the accent uh, yellow accents uh, with the red accents and um, the white midsole with the uh, panther prints uh, really 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 uh, brings the shoe out of course we know about the hologram um, haven't taken off the plastic yet. Inside, not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it. Put this down for a second. But inside, inside you have the uh, yellow jump man. That was kind of difficult to see. There you go. Uh, which is different. Uh, they could easily uh, just put a red jump man on there. Uh, but man, I'm so happy. They did a great job. I'm, I'm glad they did not um, stray from the original concept of the sneaker uh, like they did with the Flu Game 12s, uh, which is why I don't um, own that retro. I was pretty, uh, was pretty annoyed with that. Uh, but they kept the leather with the touch of suede. Of course, you got your bottom. The Panther print. You have the uh, carbon fiber uh, with the white and red. Um, I believe on the originals uh, there was hits of gray in here, uh, but they left it red uh, for the retro. Of course, you got your lime, kind of like lime green uh, Jumpman logo uh, with another hit, another hit of uh, carbon fiber. Love this shoe, and um, there's not much else to say about it than. Um, this is an anticipated shoe. I'm glad I got it. Um, very grateful uh, for my peeps in my spot uh, that I was able to get it uh, without having to go through the hoopla and for retail price, which is which is always a victory. All right, so much props to them. I'm not gonna uh, give away uh, who this who my spot is. Um, unfortunately, you know, because uh, they have an official release date they have to go by, but uh, they're very cool with me. And I'm very cool with them, so uh, very grateful. All right, I'm going to put these on feet right now. I uh, can't wait to put them on, so I'm going to put that in vid. All right, about to go on foot with these. Um, I don't usually do this, but um, uh, since this is a big day uh, for us Knicks fans, I just wanted to run down what I got on. All right, got my Allen Houston uh, alternate black, blue, and orange jersey. This is when uh, Nike was making quality jerseys for the NBA. And on the feet, I have the Jordan Fat Premier, which is based off the uh, Cleveland, old school Cleveland Cavalier colors. Uh, but I use them to my advantage to represent my New York Knicks. Alright, so we're going to go to the foot right now with the playoff 13s.
No need to try these out in the store. Cause I already know how the 13s fit me. And they fit fantastic, as usual. I love the 13s. You know, initially, the nines are my favorite model as far as look goes. The 13s are not far behind. I mean, just their comfort and the overall look of the sneaker is incredible. I love the way these look on my. This is the first time. I'm wearing these sneakers ever. I never owned the original. And they do not disappoint. Thirteens are definitely one of the most comfortable Jordans um, I've ever put on my feet. which is a big reason why I keep getting them. I mean, looks is a big part of it, but if the, if the shoe's not comfortable, I'm not gonna keep buying the model. All right, so that's the look uh, with the tongue, with the jeans behind the tongue. I'm just gonna go around one more time. This sneaker works either way. You can put over and under. Um, I usually put over with the 13s, but with that uh, Jumpman logo with the yellow accent, I think it's doing a disservice um, to, to hide that. But I mean, you know, either way, the sneaker looks incredible, tongue over or under. I mean, very classy shoe. Very, very classy shoe. I'm really happy to have these. I gave a little uh, good showcase, right? Incredible shoe. All right. All right, this is Space SpaceX. I'm signing off. Um, today's a good day. I can't wait for the game tonight. Um, huge Nick fan. Uh, of course, you know, I clicked a lot of Jordans. Um, and, um, you know, back in those days when I was a teenager, uh, there was no way I was going to buy any Jordans, man. That guy used to kill my team, but he re he's retired. Um, I totally respect, uh, you know, his game. Um, I respect the person. I mean, the guy was the greatest ever. Um, so, you know, it's all about retros right now. Sneakers that I knew were, knew were hot, and I just refused uh, to pick up because, you know, hey, I was a Knicks fan, and I was, I, was copping, I was copping Patrick Ewing's back in those days, man. I was loyal. Uh, but, you know, both guys are retired. Um, so, you know, I'm catching up on my Jordans. Um, I was all about Air Force Ones, Air Force Ones back in the days, which I still am. I still love uh, Air Force Ones. Um, so just a little history being I got my Nick jersey on. Um, I'm a huge Nick fan, uh, but I got respect for Jordan um, and Jordan brand and what they're doing. All right, guys, I'm signing off. Have a good one. Peace.